This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zandos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with Spiritomb. This is a list that uh, Benjamin Pham used to actually get really far in the Limitless TCG qualifier number one. So Spiritomb we already got familiar with this card already using Building Spite to put damage counters on itself. And then use Anguish Cry to punish uh, the opponent for every damage counter we have on ourselves. So we can even use things like Jinx to move damage counters from one spirit tomb to another. And we even have a Rainbow Energy to accelerate, of course, uh, the process of us dealing more damage. We get the one damage counter, but we don't mind. We do see there's a lot of Ultra Beast in here. We have Boswell in here, punishing, of course, uh, Picaron. We also have Tapu Finita uh, punishing the stuff like the... Um, Baby Blast deck, we have Nigel Legal to punish new to deck, so we have all of these stack cards thrown in here, even Blastophilon GX with the Burst GX can come in handy very nifty, we have Absol to slow down Jirachi builds, so this is a, a very consistent spirit tomb list and we have two copies of Latios GX, the reason we're having Latios GX thrown in this list as a yeah, two off is because of Clear Vision GX, this is gonna help us win against ADP, we get this off as early as our uh, first turn and they cannot use Alter Creation GX and that's gonna actually win us games. We can upgrade on things like uh, yeah, uh, the Dennis and all that good stuff. We even have Nanu. Uh, Nanu is actually a very interesting Pokemon. We can choose one of our Darkness Pokemon and then discard pile and switch it with one of our Pokemon in place. So this could actually help out. Uh, let's say we have a Pokemon like a Hoopa that can come out of nowhere. It's gonna be fantastic like that. So uh, we also have things to just remove things like the Dene. We can actually use Nano to just turn that into a Spirit Tomb immediately. And uh, thanks to the Shrine, you can actually put in some Shrine damage onto the Dene and then we can uh, swap to a Spirit Tomb. So that's gonna actually help us out as well. So uh, we have Beast Energy to boost the damage output and uh, also Hustle Belt if we have uh, yeah 30 HP remaining or less. We dish out 60 extra damage and uh, combined with Shrine, combined with the additional effect of Anguish Cry, you're actually gonna get the one hit KOs you always desire. So this is Benjamin Pandalus. I uh, played against him and I think it was in the Can special event. So uh, that was the win and in. Uh, actually like two seasons ago, uh, I was playing Zabdos, Lucario, he was playing um, Zoroark, so that was uh, very interesting to see that. I think it's also up on the channel that video if you're interested in some old school format stuff. So today we're playing Spiritomb again, so this time uh, we're gonna see if Spiritomb has what it takes. This is an interesting take on the deck and I, uh, we'll see if it has uh, yeah, options to win against those most powerful decks in the format. Uh, Tails never fails. We lost the coin flip. Uh, that could be bad, but we can actually start using the Anguish Cries. Anyhow, yeah, I think going first with this deck is better. But we can immediately use Clear Vision GX if we get enough basics in play. We do have like four count of Jirachi. We have lots of these Ultra Beasts which can come and play nether and nice, uh, rather nicely, so it's not gonna be a problem. We even have the Aurora Energy. So if we're up against ADP, yeah, we're up against ADP Spirit Tune, of all things. So that's also an archetype that popped up. We need to use uh, Clear Vision GX as early as possible so we can win this matchup. If we use that, they cannot use Ultra Creation GX. We can upgrade on tag teams and uh, they're probably also going to be running things like the Dene. We can even use Great Catcher. Well, we'll see how it turns out. We have Shrine. It's also going to punish us. The good news is that with the Nano, we can also get rid of the Latios and turn it into a Spirit Tune later down the line. So I do think I'm going to smack down the Shrine as early as possible. Give the Aurora Energy on to the Latios, although if we uh, use Cynthia, we can still uh, reuse uh, Nano later. So he's also a Spirit. This is a Spirit Tune video. Well, hooray, guys. Lots of people are playing Spirit Tune. That's uh, hilarious to see. Okay. He's already having a good start. Two Spirit Tunes, even a Quick Ball. Probably gonna be seeing the Dene. If we're seeing the Dene, we can actually punish the opponent. Uh, yeah, there's the Dene. We can use Baby Boswell to get two prize cards immediately with the Sledgehammer under the Dene. Then we can actually finish this guy off as soon as like Shrine takes in enough damage. I wonder if he's playing Shrine of his own. Okay, here comes the Dene. That's actually a very powerful start for the opponent. The good news is, uh, is that there's a lot of like GXs on the field already. We need to get as many uh, Pokemon in play as possible. Hopefully he whips on an energy attachment. If he, yeah, he has the energy attachment immediately. So we really need to get off uh, Clear Vision GX immediately. Will we get many basic Pokemon from the Cynthia? Oh, we actually need to have four. We, if we have four or fewer Pokemon in play, so we need to have uh, five Pokemon in total. So we need a bench of four. Wow, okay. First things first, we can slow the opponent down by targeting now the Dedene. 
Uh, let's get rid- we don't want to get rid of Nanu. Let's get rid of the Hustle Belt, although Hustle Belt can also help us out. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Uh, yeah, we'll probably having more Hustle Belts to work with either way, so let's target down the Dene. I'm gonna get smacked down the Shrine right here. I'm actually gonna go for the Aurora Energy. I know we're getting rid of Nanu. That might seem terrible, but uh, we need to get as many- Okay, there are all the basic Pokémon we desired. So this is gonna be fantastic. We can use Clear Vision immediately. So we're gonna smack down Hoopa, we're gonna smack down uh, Jirachi, we're gonna smack down Nigaligo. Could be smacking down another Latios, but uh, we are still not able to uh, use any attacks. The only thing we're able to do is retreat. So we're gonna have to put down another two prizer, unfortunately. And now we're gonna be able to use Clear Vision GX. Okay, the Shrine will take in some damage on us. The good news is we can retreat to Jirachi and start setting up some Pokemon uh, re really rather nicely. We also have Hoopa here, which can punish, of course, one, two, three, four abilities in play. Hoopa is gonna strike some damage, and the Shrine is also gonna do a lot of work. So it's also using Building Spite. Will he get the Denny out of the active position? Who knows? But this is already a, a nice way to start off with. I know we have uh, GXs of our own, but he has a tag team which is fantastic for us. I, uh, I'm not promising you guys that we will be able to win, but you see that you're able to use, of course, the GX of uh, Latios consistently. The bad news is we didn't find any Spirit Tomb, and uh, the good news will probably be that uh, he will not have a supporter. He already got rid of Research and Marnie. The Danny seems to be stuck in the active. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, he just passes the turn, so the Danny is still stuck. We adore that very much. Another ability coming into play, and uh, we're just gonna get Aurora Energy, Let's get it onto the Hoopa and let's get rid of the, this card right here. We're gonna retreat and gonna go offensively with Hoopa right here. Evil Admonition, boom, 110 damage. That's insane to think about. The Shrine is also gonna put up some more work here. Could have also retreated to Jirachi now that I think about it, but uh, this will actually give us two prize cards. It's not gonna be too hard to knock out a, uh, a Spirit Tomb because we can actually do that with only like Anguish Cry for like 10 damage. That is also an option. He's probably gonna want to get go for the one hit KO. Hopefully he whiffs on switches. There's already one switch in the discard pile, which is good for us. And here comes Guzman Hala, probably finding the escape board. And that's gonna be very crucial here. He's gonna be able to retreat, but it doesn't matter for us that the Danny will go down. Either way, with of course the shrine damage. This, this is good, very dangerous because we have other uh, Pokemon here on the bench. Uh, the good news is we still have another great catcher in our deck, and uh, we need to set up a uh, yeah, spirit tomb as early as possible. We're probably have, gonna have to use great catcher. Okay, he's still stuck, leaving it for one more turn. Okay, we have research, fantastic. We're gonna research, get a lot of resources. Hopefully, a spirit tomb will pop up. Still no spirit tomb, unfortunately. Don't need to put damage onto uh, the Dedenne here, it will go down uh, from itself. So, what to do here? Spirit Tomb, we can use a Ranguru, we can actually use a Jirachi in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Energy does help out, we can start attacking, but I actually want to save my Hoopa to destroy a Spirit Tomb. So, at this point, I will be. Uh, I'm really not sure how many Switch cards there were in the discard pile. Probably have more switch cards left. I think I will just safely retreat. He's probably gonna attack our uh, Jirachi anyhow. We're gonna use this. Use Stellarish. Maybe we find Quick Ball. Yeah, we have Quick Ball so we can set up. Uh... Yeah, we don't even need to set up some Spirit Tombs, but the Spirit Tombs could put up some huge pressure damage for uh, knocking out that uh, ADP. So we're actually going to get one Spirit Tomb, setting him up completely with the Hustle Belt and all the good stuff. Hopefully that will be enough to just uh, swoop up enough of this damage. Rainbow Energy, Hustle Belt, using Building Spite. And we even have a, a Aurora Energy to work with later. So we're just gonna pass it out and uh, the Shrine will actually make a quick work of that Dedane. We get two prize cards and uh, we just need to go after that ADP at one point to get three prize cards. Just knock out one Spirit Tomb with the Hoopa. And we just, yeah, here's the great catcher. Wow, that uh, came in time very nifty here. I'm just gonna set up all the damage on Spirit Tomb, knock out an ADP, and uh, this should be enough, right? Uh, we're gonna be able to smack a maximum damage output of with five damage counters on here. That's 160 damage with the Hustle Belt. That is an additional 60 damage. 160 is 220. Okay, 220. So the Shrine needs to be in play for one more turn. There's also three Shrine in his, in his deck. Okay, will he have something like Marshall to get rid of the Shrine? There's always an option for that. 
Okay, here comes the tackle. Finding CT on Catlin. If the shrine stays in play, I'm gonna be fine with that. We just need to knock out this ADP and a spirit tomb, and we should be able to uh, nifty win against uh, the ADP uh, with spirit tombs. Okay, he gets rid of a research. Okay, that's fine. Our GXs on the field are getting a lot of damage thanks to that shrine. Probably gonna leave it into play. I don't know if he's playing something like a martial. Okay, here comes Jinx. He can go for Great Catcher on a GX to upgrade. We already uh, knocked out the Danny, which is nice. So I did not, uh, yeah, we underestimated Hoopa in this uh, matchup. Hoopa was very, very nice and treated us very good. So he's just passing the turn. He could also target our Spirit Team down, which would be an issue here. Okay, what do we do? First things first, Stellar Wishing. We got another switch card, so we can actually start using Jirachi multiple times. We're gonna switch onto Hoopa. Yeah, Hoopa should be should be good. Let's do that. We're gonna get rid of uh, yeah, we're gonna give an energy over here. We're gonna get rid of the Jirachi. Yeah. There we go. Uh building spike, don't forget about that. That's very huge. We just need to wait. We're gonna knock out this uh Jirachi here. Bam! 110 damage. We get an additional prize card. Again. Okay, now the shrine is gonna go on a huge point here. He's at uh, 220 HP, so he could go with uh, Pokemon Catchers. He has Pokemon Catchers in his list, maybe Custom Catchers to target down our Spirit Tomb, which would be huge. Okay, the, ca the ca Catcher fails, which is fantastic, but we do have another Spirit Tomb left. I do think we also have another Hustle Belt left. I don't know how much time we have left on the clock here with the Spirit Tomb, uh, actually with the Shrine taking in so much damage. So this is a Spirit Tomb video, it's turning out okay. Here comes the research. He's digging for probably another Pokemon catcher. Let's just hope that uh, he doesn't find a tackle. He's digging out the lag that completely. He's still gonna use Primate Wisdom and all that good stuff. His Spirit Tomb is able to knock out our Spirit Tomb. And we just. Okay, here comes the Great Catcher. He's gonna go after the GXs. Okay, that's fine. He still needs to take six more prize cards, but still. So that uh, alter, uh, clear vision did help out a ton. So you definitely need two Latios in this list. Also considering the fact that uh, one could be priced. And uh, in this scenario, getting of course this uh, clear vision off helped us throughout this game. Because he has stack teams, we don't. It's a one prize deck. Reminds me of a lot of Zap Beast in uh, some sort of way. Because we have like Night Aligo. We have uh, Baby Buzz. All of these one fantastic one prizers. Also, now that I think about it, if he puts too much damage across the board, we can even use Mew to finish off this game. Yeah. Another damage counter. Mew can also get rid of like one spirit tomb if he gets another damage counter around it. It's also gonna work. The damage puts him around again. It's gonna be at a little bit enough damage. We still have another switch in the hand, so still gonna use Jirachi at this point. Okay. When the turn ends, we just need to put 200 damage onto this guy. Building spite again. How much HP do we have left? So we have four. That means uh, 130, 190. 190 damage. Still barely hanging in there. Barely hanging in there. Okay. What to do? Probably gonna be setting up another spirit too. What do we get? Another switch. Lots of switches this time around. Okay, we can also use Nightcap at one point to get rid of this guy for 150 damage. So it shouldn't be that bad. We have the Great Catcher in hand either way. Okay. Building Spite. One damage counter on it. And we're just gonna safely switch to Hoopa. He could go after our other Pokemon, but it's gonna be fine. We have Great Catcher anyhow. And uh, we'll also have the option to use uh, Nightcap at one point, which should be enough. Evil Abomination getting rid of this guy. Next turn, we are gonna be able to knock out ADP. Either way, even if he goes after our GX and our one prizes, we are ahead in the prize race. So we just need to get, keep getting knockouts and we also are able to win that way. Okay, he's at 200 damage that we need to smack. 200 damage. The Shrine will definitely stay in play for like two more turns. We can use either Nightcap, go for a crazy Hoopa. One, two, three, four abilities. Four abilities in play. Interesting scenario. <laughs> Even at, at this point, I didn't think he could reset stamp us to uh, get rid of our uh, like great catcher. Will he have another gusting card? He has. Two catchers in here, one great catcher, don't know how much this list runs, lots of spirit tomb action thanks to the limitless qualifiers, so lots of people trying out new archetypes instead of the thing we are familiar with, okay, Jinx, putting up some more damage counters, 
Okay, that's four. That means we can win with the Mew as well. With the Mew, we can put damage counters around two on this guy, one on this guy. Okay, it's heads, take our Spirit Tomb. Okay, he takes our Blacephalon. That is very unexpected. That means with Spirit Tomb, we can knock out ADP. How hilarious is that? So we just need to smack 200 damage and we should be done with it. So we have two win conditions here. We have the Mew spreading damage around and we have Spirit Tomb being able to one-shot ADP. So this list is fantastic. Definitely thanks to the Latio, so it uh, has great matchups across the board. Either you can use Burst Jacks in matches where you're not using Clear Vision, or you can um, use the Clear Vision against those uh, decks that are heavily relying on GX move. Okay, he doesn't even notice that he's weak against Mew this time around. Okay, the Shrine will pop damage. Yeah, we have much of switches, so Jirachi, there comes. Okay, the, uh, he equipped it the Big Charm, which is a huge issue here. Although, I don't think so, we're gonna smack 220 damage and the Shrine will stick in play. 220 will, is still gonna be enough, so we're gonna go for Great Catcher, getting rid of this, getting rid of that. I'm gonna go after the ADP here. Stellar Wishing. Yeah, we have a Pokénav. That's very strange because we've never used it. That's actually to find more Pokémon down the line, so even using this... What, 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 would, what did we get with this? We have a Jinx, okay. Jinx could even put more damage around. Uh, putting these like this Good smack down Jinx while we're at it switching to the spirit tomb and spirit tomb We're gonna smack a huge amount of damage also gonna be using Cynthia so you can actually see what the deck is truly capable of We even have the Mew to finish off if uh, our plan doesn't succeed here Another belt right there and here comes the anguish cry for 220 damage and the shrine will simply clean up So this is it. This is uh, the spirit tomb deck that uh, Benjamin Pham took. He's uh, a guy from the Netherlands Did really well and I always love the fact that we can explore decks that haven't been explored yet on the channel. This is Spirit Tomb, uh, the new version of it. We won very convincingly against an ADP variant thanks to using Clear Vision. The bad news is that we had to put down lots of GXs. Good news is that uh, Spirit Tomb can upgrade very nicely. We're gonna be playing one more game and uh, that's gonna be it for this video. So hopefully we're coming across another meta deck. Spirit Tombs are ready to just, uh, yeah, a pure water deck. Wow. Lapras? Frost Moth without the Dennis? Don't think it works without the Dennis, but we'll see. Okay. Even the water coin. So uh, this dude totally loves water types. We want the coin flip. I think I'm gonna go first because we want to put uh, damage on our to ourselves with the uh, yeah, ability. We, ha we start with a Mew. That's actually not good. Not good at all. We don't even have a supporter. We could go for Burst GX immediately, so at least we have that going for us. Uh, oh, not good. We could put a Rainbow Energy on this guy to at least have something. Or we could Burst GX, followed it up. Yeah, this is a Caldeo list. We could use Burst, but all the rest of the effects cannot uh, be affected here. Rainbow Energy on the view, so we can manually retreat. Nah, it's not even. Not even gonna be a thing, so I'm actually just gonna pass it out. Lone Mew, can he dunk this? Does he have a way to accelerate three energies onto a Caldeo? The reason why I'm waiting, he could also play something like the Marnie down. If nothing goes uh, good, we're actually gonna switch and use Burst GX so we're ahead in the prize race. Evolution Incense, straight from the bat. Wonder why he's doing that. It doesn't seem to have a basic in play. So, here comes Frostmod. Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay, that's a very strange list. Is this pure Caldeo? With only like... Uh, this as the active Pokemon? I don't know. We cannot even burn him. So, weak guard energy. That's the only thing he has. That's a very strange weird deck. Okay, to start things off... Only seems to be having one Pokemon. Still we're gonna smack this down so we can be up trading. I'm gonna be giving an Aurora energy while also getting rid of one hustle belt and now we're gonna switch use burst gx use cynthia and hopefully find ourselves some spirit tombs to charge up while we get the first prize card ready okay uh first things first pokemon navigator we got the spirit tomb that's all i wanted actually and we can uh, put back whatever we please here hmm. quick ball and a rainbow energy rainbow energy is actually a nice top deck so do we have switch in hand? Probably not. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Quick Ball and an Energy. We don't need to use another Pokénav here. It's gonna be fine. I'm going to smack down a Jirachi though. So building Spite, we're gonna charge it up. 
charge it up niftily and do we smack down Hoopa? Probably not. Just gonna go for Burst GX, getting the first prize card. Mm, what do we get? Okay, we discarded the switch, it's fine. Good news is we can safely set up a Spirit Tomb. We already got the first prize card. We can take two prize cards with the Caldeo. He still needs to uh, do something, so. Uh... Okay, one minute, please. Uh, looks like there was someone at my door. <laughs> that was very, very weird. But uh, we actually won. The opponent conceded or something. Okay, that's fine. I'll be playing another game because uh, that other one was not even valid. There was somebody at my door. Very funny. I go away for two seconds and we win the game. How insane. Alright, let's try it out again. Spirit Tube action. Wanna go first? Yeah, always go first with this deck. So you can, you can accumulate all the damage counters on your spirit tombs. In my case, this is not a good start. We can uh, get a spirit tomb at least, use the Aurora Energy, get a Hustle Belt. We can even go for a Jirachi if we want to. What was in there? Lightning Energies? Was this a Raichu deck? Nuzzle? We'll see how it goes. We actually already got two victories on our belt with our insane, insane <laughs> spirit tomb list. Okay, what is he starting out with? Maybe a Molga? I don't know. Okay, this is the Pachirichi list we already got familiar with. Hmm, we have a switch card, so we can immediately knock out the Pachirichi, which would be fantastic. So I'm actually gonna get rid of, all these cards are busted, so I'm actually gonna get rid of the Nanu of all things. Gonna get a Spare Tomb using the uh, Building Spike Bam. Uh, also gonna be giving Aurora energy on this guy. Gonna get rid of the Hustle Belt. And we're just gonna pass it out. Next turn we're able to knock out Pachirich, so we got the first prize card. Could have also gone for the Dene, but I didn't want like a two prizer on our field. And also he still needs to set up lots of Pikachus either way. And if he's only going to be using the uh, Snuggly Generator for one turn, Will he be able to get it off? With the Voltner, he's gonna get a Quick Ball. Finding a, a Molga, forming Molga, Alder and Molga, you know how that goes. He gets Communication instead. Not a Quick Ball. Communication of her goal, Soul Silver. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get something. Even though we got the first prize card with this, we got the second prize card with that. That's for sure. There go all the Pikachus. Two Pikachus. We're gonna see the uh, Nuzly gathering for another Emolga and another Emolga, and he's gonna accelerate. Hopefully, he whips on an energy. Oh, nah, he did use Voltner. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, uh, with Nightcap, we're gonna be able to copy some moves if he had two prize cards. Nothing useful at this point, although Voltec does dish out 70 damage. Another Pikachu, Quick Ball, getting rid of an energy. Another Pikachu, so he's gonna be setting up four Pikachus at once. With Snuggly Generator, that's gonna be hard for us. He's thinning out the deck completely. And we don't have uh, something to dust up in Molga. Would be fantastic to use it though, but yeah, here go all the energies. We already uh, explored this deck as well, so it's fine. Okay, it's our turn. We get a Quick Ball, that's fantastic. What's in the discard pile? He could have like other means to just do some crazy stuff. Okay, let's get this up. We're gonna switch it out this. I think I'm also gonna smack this down. I'm going to go for... I don't know. Hustle Belt. Nah, not really. I'm going to be attaching the Rainbow Energy so we can burst at one point. That is an option. Yeah, we also need to use the Quick Ball. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Quick Ball either way. Getting out the Dene GX. Boswell is also gonna be huge in this scenario. Okay, Hustle Belt. Could be putting it on this guy. Let's go. What do we get? Skateboard Shrine. 
not gonna put the shrine in though. Tapafumi also very useless in this scenario. We're gonna give the give him the skateboard. And research, getting rid of all these resources to dig for some spirit tombs. Okay, we have a spirit tomb, let's get rid of Latios. Not gonna be using that in this matchup. Spirit tomb, let's rock. Energies, actually using building spite. Also, how many switch cards did we use? Only one. One escape for me. I'm gonna smack down Hirachi. Gonna dig deeply with the research. Let's go with the Anguish Cry. Getting the first prize card. Never bad. What's next? What do we get? It's Hoopa? How many abilities? Only one though. That's bad. Only one ability. Nuzzly Gathering will probably find Raichu. Raichu will knock us out. It's gonna be back and forth. The good news is he was only able to use Snuggly Generator once. So at one point he will lose a lot of energies. If he whips on attachment of the turn, so he uses the Nuzzly Gathering, finding a Raichu. Probably gonna see multiple Raichus at this point. Yeah. Powerful Spark, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, we can safely use Burst GX at this point. Yeah, probably gonna see Switch cards any, anytime soon. So I'm actually gonna promote uh, the Niagara Legal. If we find a Switch card, we can still use Jirachi. It's gonna be like that. Okay, baby bus, very very busted, we're gonna need that, we can use the Anguish Cry, and Rainbow Energy will be enough to get the KO here, so we're gonna use Anguish Cry one time, smack it down Buzzwall, and hopefully we find enough resources to uh, get ourselves another prize card. Oh, Beast Energy, that's busted. We can use Rainbow Energy to start KOing, we don't have like, how much damage are we putting up? With 3 damage counters, that's only 100 damage, we don't have uh, ways to knock him out, so... We're just gonna have to go for, hmm, we can use the Beast Energy, or we can use the Beast Energy, yeah, it doesn't matter at this point, Beast Energy can actually get the KO here, if we lost on the energy, so I'm actually gonna get uh, an Aurora Energy over there, gonna get rid of the Absol, we're retreating, and we're gonna go for Burst GX, there we go, what do we get? Ta-da! We discard a Pokémon. That's good. We don't even need that. He's probably gonna have to uh, two-shot us. While well, we can then use the Beast Energy on here to use Mind Blown and knock this guy out. So we can actually upgrade, actually get two prize cards with Blastoise. Okay, Electro Powers. That changes everything. Two Electro Powers. Okay, we're screwed. We're screwed. At least we're gonna be able to knock him out with Anguish Cry and Rainbow Energy. So. Or maybe we're just using Baby Buzz. Yeah, we, we need to use Baby Buzz at this time. Okay, he's gonna get to take two prize cards. We're gonna take a prize card. It's gonna be going back and forth until one whips on a KO. Okay, Marty, no! All of our perfect things. Two, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. He used two Electro Powers, 160. Okay, that's 180. Perfect math for the opponent. Wow, getting two Electro Powers at once. What, are, what were the chances, right? This deck is like 30 cards thick. Okay, the only thing we will need... We're just gonna promote the uh, same strategy here. We have more switches than skateboards in our deck. Another Jirachi. Not a chance. Gonna use Anguish Cry. Don't need any of these cards, so here comes the research. Okay, Hustle Belt. Could knock this guy, but we actually need to use Baby Bus at this point. Retreat! Skateboard over there. Hustle Belt over there. Pokin F. What do we get? Mew. Mew or Orangaroo? We can get to Mew. Yeah, we still ha already have an energy, so might as well use Orangaroo, drawing us more resources. Yeah, we know what we're gonna t top deck here with the rainbow energy, though. So we don't need to smack him down. Could use Switch and use Jirachi. Could use that later. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Sledgehammer. Oh, wow. Eh. Yeah, rip. He's at three prize cards, not four prize cards, because he take the he took a KO on the GX. Either way, let's say we knock this guy out. He has way more resources, and we only have Spirit Tombs to attack with. So 
we were going to lose this game, but uh, this deck is not uh, made to uh, just go uh, compete with one prize decks. Although against Baby uh, Blasaflon, we do have uh, the uh, good type of finish. So let me know what you think about this crazy, crazy Spirit Tomb list uh, down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.